Textbook of Rockwood and Green's Fractures in Adults Section 1 General Principles Classification of Fracture Overview Fracture classification systems are usually interpreted using plane radiographs, AP or lateral view. Some also use oblique or internal and external rotation radiography. Some classifications also use CT scan, including Sanders classification for calcaneus fracture. Purpose of classification system To name, to describe and compare, to guide action to, and to predict outcomes. Types of fractures classification systems The first is fractures specific classification systems. Second one is classification of fractures in all parts of human skeleton. And the last one is classification of soft tissue injury. Fracture specific classification system. Garden classification of femoral neck fractures. Describes the displacement and angulation of femoral head on AP and lateral view of the hip. Fracture types are ordered to indicate first, fracture severity, second, greater fracture instability, and the third, higher risk of complications after reduction and stabilization. Garden type 1 and 2 are stable fractures, which is treated with percutaneous internal fixation, while garden type 3 and 4 are unstable fractures, where are mostly treated with arthroplasty. Description of Garden Classification of Femoral Neck Fractures Type 1 Valgus impacted in complete fracture, disruption of the lateral cortex while the middle cortex is preserved. Type 2 Complete Fracture Type 3 Complete Fracture and Partial Displacement indicated by change in angle of the trabeculae. Type 4 Complete Fracture and complete displacement leading to parallel orientation of the trabeculae. Type 1 and type 2 are considered as non-displaced fracture, while type 3 and 4 are considered as displaced fractures. Schatzker classification of proximal tibia fractures. It is based on location of major fracture line in proximal tibia and the presence or absence of depressed segment of articular surface in proximal tibia. Near classification system for proximal humeral fracture. The near classification groups fractures into non-displaced or one part, two part, three part, or four part fractures. Non-displaced fractures in the near system may have several fracture lines, but none of them meet the displacement or angulation criteria to be considered as a part. Two-part fractures in the near system can represent either a fracture across the surgical neck of the humerus or a greater or lesser tuberosity fracture that is displaced. Three-part fractures classically involve in the humeral head with a greater tuberosity fragment that is displaced or angulated. Fourth part fractures involve displacement or angulation of the humeral head and greater and lesser tuberosities. Large Hansen classification of malleolar fractures. Classification system based on mechanism of injury. The first one according to the position of the foot at the time of injury, pronation and supination. The second one direction of the deforming force at the time of fracture external rotation, inversion, and aversion. Treatment requires reversal of injuring force direction. Generic or universal classification system. AOTA orthopedic trauma association fracture classification is widely used, which consists of five questions. Which bone, wherein the bone is a fracture, which fracture type, which group do the fractures belong to, and which subgroup which bone major bones in the body are numbered humerus forearm femur and tibia where in the bone is the fracture identifies a specific segment within the bone proximal segment the segment and distal segment 
which fracture type we divide it into two types proximal and distal fractures which consists of type a extra articular type b partial articular type c complete disruption of articular surface and the second one the official fracture which consists of type a simple fracture with two fragments type b some combination but there can still be contact between proximal and distal segments type c highly comminuted or segmental the aosf long bone classification comprehensive applied to proximal humeral fractures the system describes three types of proximal humerus fractures types a b and c type a fractures are described as unifocal extraarticular two segment fractures type b as a bifocal extraarticular three segment fractures and type c as anatomic neck of articular segment fractures each type includes three fractures pattern with nine subgroups for each type of fracture the subgroup classification indicates the degree of displacement the energy of the injury may be reflected in soft tissue damage usually associated with open fractures classifications in open fractures include costello and orthopedic trauma association or ota the orthopedic trauma association classification of open fractures essential factor skin factor first can be approximated second one cannot be approximated and the third one extensive the clothing muscle factor first no muscle in area or no appreciable necrosis second loss of muscle and tech function and localized necrosis and the third one that muscle or loss for functions arterial factors first no injury second one artery injury without ischemia third one artery injury with distal ischemia contamination factor first non or minimal contamination second surface contamination and the third embedded in bone or deep tissues bone loss factor first non the second one bone mission or the vascularized but still contact between proximal and distal segments third one segmental bone loss severity of closed fractures Ostern and Scherner classification of closed fractures grade 0 soft tissue injury minimal soft tissue damage and direct injury to limb grade 1 superficial abrasion or contusion grade 2 Deep abrasion with skin or muscle contusion, direct trauma to limb. Grade 3 Extensive skin contusion or crush, severe damage to underlying muscle, subcutaneous avulsion, and compartment syndrome may be present. Limitations of fracture classification systems Several factors may influence accurate or applicable classification of fractures. First, radiographs. Non radiographic factors, comorbidity, socioeconomic, physiologic response, difference in decision making. Radiographs related factors. First, poor radiographs quality, indiscernible fractures lines, for example, osteopenia bones, and the last one, variability among observers in measuring fractures. Thank you.